Г.
I mean, it's kind of on the record ish. <laughs> we were we were live, but nothing was said. So it wasn't on like the soundtrack, so it's not baked in. But it's in like, our <laughs> conversation over the course of the stream. Mm. Hi, everybody. Hello. Howdy, hi. Hello. Hi. hi. Hello. I could do conjure minor and el elementals. Is that what you needed, Rob? Nah, nah. Um, it's it's conjure elemental. It's the big one. Um, oh. it's the one that lets you summon zones. Nice. If I'm gonna learn to do it anyway, it's gonna be if if I can find a book on it, it's gonna be here. Yeah. <laughs> the clay tab. Like, it's just gonna be like a sandstone tablet the size of Rex. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> this is like oh no, that's the so before or after you cast enlarge on Rex. <laughs> My God, can you imagine it? Can you imagine it enlarge Rex and um. Were were bunny form? I mean, unironically, <laughs> that's what I expected Das to do last session. <laughs> well, if you expected Das to do something, Das just com does something completely different. I was hoping to make the guy's dick so big that gravity would just pull down on it, and he'd just struggle to like. <laughs> <laughs> But I, but Brian was like, no, it has to be on the entire creature. Yeah, I, I, I think this is why you just need. That's where my limit gets. To. <laughs> <laughs> like, sh surely your job, sh you should have been like, right, cool. How do I flirt with a shadow turtle? Well, funny thing but is, the thing, though, if you made it smaller, mm. he would have got stronger. Yeah. So this Wait, now. what? I forgot oh, someone's explanation, but they did it for like a skit regarding Captain America. Mm -hmm. So like Steve Rogers before getting super soldiered was actually quite well hung, just useless to talk to women. Since he got Captain America, it, you know, it all shrunk to compensate. Huh. <laughs> yep. No, uh, there is no, nothing. There what is the hell nothing was that? In the formula that suggests that's true. No, but they did it as like a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, but yeah. then someone also pointed out like that's for space marines. That's why they're so angry all the time. Mm. I was gonna. I say... actually don't think space marines have <laughs> junk. No, they don't. Again, why do you think the world eaters are angry all the time? Besides the butcher's nails. Also, I have hmm. panache, which means that if uh, the creature is hostile towards me and they fail their wisdom saving throw, then they have disadvantage on hitting any one else besides me um but if they aren't hostile towards me they are charmed like is that um panache is that a wisdom or... is that a wisdom saving throw from panache or just any no, wisdom saving throw a persuasion versus inside check yes so right so it has to be done by das oh, yeah. yes damn. it has to be done by me and my charisma at the moment is uh plus one modifier so because Better I'm... than mine. <laughs> yeah, but I uh, put a point into charisma. It's gonna be well, uh, positive, uh, positive things. Um, if I'm not wrong, my initiative uh, modifier actually didn't raise this time. Yeah. My my initiative modifier, however, has because I put the thing in charisma, which I probably should have built up to. Oh well, never mind. Yeah. Oh, that's that's fun. I hadn't checked this when I selected it. My new cantrip, um, mind sliver, uh, alongside the stacking damage. <laughs> Sadly, it, it I wish this stacked, but it also essentially allows single single target bane. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So one, one d four penalties. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. It's a bit like some gauntlets uh, on Baldur's Gate three. <laughs> yeah, great for when uh, you're barbarian and you tend to one shot mm -hmm. those things. <laughs> yeah, like bait it from existence. I I I keep Baldur's Gate is eating me alive and driving me mad because I keep trying to do quests when I am clearly under leveled. <laughs> Well, here's the thing. Yeah, here's the well, thing. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say Get, uh, obligatory Baldur's Gate for me and Tash because we have been playing it as a couple. Yes. So far, two of the NPCs you meet died. 
<laughs> one by our own hand, one by accident. Um, <laughs> we've managed to get the kill something with gravity achievement. Yeah. Oh, yay, same. Not, not realising you can, I was just determined to <laughs> heel kick a goblin warlock off the highest point on the map. Yeah. And relentlessly chased it down <laughs> until I could do it. <laughs> and um, and one of us just and one of us uh, decided to get a bit kinky and um, and got and got some bonuses out of it. Yeah, yeah. The priest of the <laughs> was interesting with dialogue options, at which point I was like, wait, what? And we found out that oh. the other heart was a kinky bitch. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. That so that kinky option, not the other kinky option. Gotcha. Yes. <laughs> and we, we are aware of the other thing that everybody's found. We've gone past it without realising. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fine. We need to backtrack because we have missed two major NPCs. Yeah. Oh my... I was, no. oh, yeah. I, I was just looking through the achievement lists. There is one called Kill Two Birds with One Gnome. <laughs> what? Which, which is use one enemy as an improvised weapon against another. Which, if one of you is playing Barbarian, I think you actually have the ability to do that one. Well, funny, I... you should say that. I'm sorry, could, 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 could you say that loud into my ear, please? I could hit a mother trucker with another mother trucker. Yes, you can. <laughs> yes. Well, that seems like... Right then, I'm going to empty the bodies out of my bag and use them as improvised weapons. <laughs> You've been carrying bodies? Again, I have two dead NPCs I need to get revived. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. I know Fair. I know I need a bit of the body. I'm bringing the whole thing just to be safe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, but... so if one of you barbarian, what's the other one? Take a wild guess. Bad. Take a real... You would be correct. <laughs> Take a real wild guess with one of us being kinky enough to go through with a penance for Loviata. And I say <laughs> penance in quotation marks. You nearly died during that. I know, moment. We saved you up right? so much because we kept screwing up. No, I... No, actually, Sorry, I... No, I kept screwing you up. You kept screwing up. I was like, hell yeah! Like, and getting like... But, for context, every time. my barbarian got arrested. I snuck, well done. Of, I snuck out of jail. I waited for my timer to be up so I could walk around freely. I found out where part of our quest was meant to go to us. I then interacted with two enemy NPCs. Well, first time around, I interacted with one. Second time around, I interacted with the other <laughs> one. Third time around, um, I mucked up my dialogue options, freeing another prisoner. <laughs> so I got caught in the combat. And then the fourth time round, um, yeah, I angered the druid we were going to save, so it was all of us to be a druid. Hmm. That was a fun very cool. fight. That was a very unfun fight. <sighs> so I'm really coming. annoyed. And we've been so good up to that point, we hadn't done a single save scum. Hmm. Mm. I, I won't claim that I've been perfect on the saves coming. Um, I have, however, had to jump back because I very much was trying to go to fight a, a, a certain hag whilst radically under level. Well, whilst probably an entire level too low. Mm. Oh, which that... really matters in this game. Yeah. Oh, that was a fun thing that happened. Like, at one point, everyone else leveled up, but Brian's barbarian. Yeah, I was, Brian so, was so, so salty. <laughs> Damn. He was so salty about it. And do you know how many experience I points was he seven needed? Seven XP short. <laughs> I was like what, what one. Were <laughs> what were you doing when um when when Brian was in prison? I don't fucking know. Probably getting kinky with like um. The... No, you got out by that point. <laughs> oh, I got out by that. Okay. I don't know. It was, just, it was just annoying. I was seven short, so I was actually running around killing rats because I knew they gave one XP. <laughs> yeah. Until I found a goblin, then the goblin exploded. And I leveled. Anyway, up. anyway, getting level. away from. Larian's madness. Yes, yeah. to this madness. So, speaking of leveling up, last time, you guys had dealt with the Ebon Zeratan. A, a terrible corruption of an earth elemental crossed with some vile shadow stuff from the plane of evil and darkness, also known as the Shadowfell, because D&D has leads somewhat but evil undead. Upon completion of this, and after an arduous battle to which two of you nearly died, one of you died. Uh -huh. Well, yeah. 
I was going to say multiple times, but well. Yeah. Zombie uh, squad. Zombie squad. <laughs> zombie squad. Zombie squad. But <laughs> you all leveled up. Ooh, you all reached Woo! level 10. Hooray. Yes. And we reach a point after the, the fighting is done and the exhaustion has hit. You have witnessed the birth of a new Earth Titan. An Earth Phoenix, if you will. Like a phoenix, but with more rocks in it. Yes. For yeah. thematic appropriateness. And as you all are bathed in this glow, I give you a boon as your DM. Oh, really? Oh, okay. It's a one-time use. So consider this your one free ticket. Mm -hmm. The next time you get to make a death save, you get to make one death save with advantage. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Okay. There's That's getting put on the it. on the on the notes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you only get it once. Mm. Each or just for the whole party? Like... Each. Oh, okay, cool. But but if you sit there and be like, okay, my death save, right? That's there. You know, a fallen unconscious. I'm going to use my death save. I'm going to use my ticket. Mm. Pfft, gone forever. Cool. So be careful when you use it. Sweet. All right. Yeah. Okay, cool. That is your one boon for me for reaching a, a key milestone in the world's story development. Mm. Yes. If you're wondering what me, while well, I keep looking over that, me and Tasha have got a boy in our room and he's currently uh, on top of the cat tree with, with the cone of shame. Mm. Oh. <laughs> the cone of shame. It is a cone of shame. The cone of shame. Well done. The camera doesn't do much for him, but there you go. How's the little guy's paw? Uh, in the grand scheme of things, not better than it was, but not the greatest it has been. Aww. So he's off to the vets again tomorrow, because... Ugh. I need yeah. medical help, because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Mm. Yeah. Cats, man. Don't Indeed. I was to say, Last just cat we had, cat. no problems. Did not need to go to the vets this often after... A scratch. Still, anyway. getting off topic. Getting back on topic. Hmm. So you're all bathed in this wonderful glow. Oh. All feeling invigorated. As if you've learned something over the course of your adventures. Dal sits down, <laughs> admires the new phoenix, and... Ah, lovely. The, uh, the <laughs> Earth plane now has its new titan, and the pillar's slowly beginning to heal itself. Get out. <laughs> we would get out, but um, yeah, as you can plainly see, you know, we need to travel back to our plane, and it's kind of a bit yeah, difficult that we're not that magically strong enough to do that by ourselves, so we kind of need some form of assistance or something, you know, to help shift us, you know? You I'm tired. You plane shift. No, no. I'm not even sure we can teleport. Can you teleport, Aelin? Mm -mm. A very heavy sigh comes from the Dow as she realizes that. Ugh. Got to put up with you guys for another day. Yay! Uh, <laughs> Yay! I want a teenager to look after baby brother and all the siblings. We mm. love you too. Platonically speaking. Yes. Un unless you want to go a little bit further, but you know, platonically. We don't kink shame. Mm. Would that, that be sapphire? Gives that look on that and just goes, I would break you in two. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I, I, and you know what? I can imagine Dash just winking back like yeah. Oh well. I'll walk over hmm. back on the sand boat. Sand boat, sand boat, sand boat. Wait, wait. What what are they called? What are what called? What's the new Titan called? It's gonna have a name. 
don't know. Do you have a name? Bunsen. No, no. <laughs> Earth plane. Bunsen. Why would you call it Bunsen? I don't know. It used to be a fire bird, and I don't know. There's something to do with burners and Bunsen sort. Of... Hmm. Bunsen burner. Okay. Off topic slightly again, but at school. Um, our floor was set alight because somebody thought it'd be a great idea to put um, Bunsen burner on the floor and cover it in deodorant. Huh. Damn. So, <laughs> what, we nearly, what happened? They nearly burnt down the science block. There's, I, there is. I don't know if the hole was ever fixed. It was never fixed when we were there, but there is like a black charred like hole in the lino of the floor. Probably not. In the science. Oh god, science I can't. Block. <laughs> I've lost. I, I genuinely think we all lost track of how many times some idiot in the boys' dorms when I was at boarding school did the like deodorant with a like lit match, rubber banded <laughs> to it to do flamethrower shit. Yeah, <laughs> and thus the fire service had to come out. <laughs> I just think a whole Bunsen burner going being sprayed yep. with deodorant. <laughs> Um, I can actually tell you what is fun, but not safe thing to do. <laughs> you know these uh, long, like, uh, long uh, uh, carton, uh, like, is it called carton? Um, the huge tubes which usually have, like, uh, fabrics around uh around oh, them yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. um we me my friend friend my friends and i took one of those tubes and then we took some uh, i think it was it wasn't a deodorant but it was like a aftershave oh, we no. put it we put the tube against a wall. Actually, it has to be something we sprayed. Um, we like sprayed it in the tube, and only way where the thing could come out of was the other end of the tube. Oh. Holy crap, that was a loud bang! Did you just create a tube rocket with aftershave? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? It works. Well, I love the PVC bazooka using box press. Yeah. And then my chemistry teacher went, Oh, I can make a better one, and then actually made a working PVC bazooka. So just for anyone watching, we are as insane as the characters. <laughs> yeah, probably. Most of us were in England, we were left unsupervised. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, but, but yeah. In answer to your What's question, your name? Uh, go to on your character sheet. There'll be a thing of spells. Uh, yeah, I I found it already. Good. Have fun adding your spells. Um, yes. Also, think of Alien for the Prime. Oh, you're welcome. Of the party. Dow leads you back to the ship. And she asks you, is there any particular place you want to go and rest up tonight? Somewhere safe without being disturbed. Carry on, Christy. What mission were what we in the middle of? I... <laughs> I Figuring I out why the... <laughs> we were in the mission of, of, uh, before coming down here of figuring out why the town had the town's mine had exploded. Because yeah. we were delivering oh. supplies. Yes. Yes, before this whole mess with the earth plane started, you were supplying uh, Ember Mine with medical and building supplies after one of the mines exploded and collapsed. Turns out the earth elementals were in charge of that one. <clears throat> and the fire elementals. Yeah. Ember Mine is a nice mix of the two pure elemental natures. But yeah, if the Dow is asking, I'd like to go to a library. Right, he wants to go to a tablet shack. What about the rest of you? 
safe and warm, um, so she just wants a house. Jack! I'm not fast what I do. Eh, uh, neither am I. I mean, since I nearly died, I probably should rest. And just... And just... Not do anything at all. What if we went to a city with an inn and a uh, library? And somewhere with uh, beverages of an alcoholic nature. Oh, there's plenty of that floating around down here anyway. Excellent. Yeah. I mean, well, are you, feel, are you feeling up to a stray dog challenge? I was going to say... What's a stray dog challenge? I was going to say, <laughs> do you have whiskey on the rocks? Wait, what's... Everything's on the rocks. It's the earth plane. Excellent. <laughs> All right. I wonder if librarians party as hard as it, uh, down here as in the material plane. Define party hard. They really don't you know care. how this one acts most of the time? Pointing at Das. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone acts like that because they've been imbibing alcohol. Um, and then they all make terrible decisions, like making out with their best friend or fucking the best friend's sibling, something like that. Or their dad. Uh, I mean, that's if you're going extra hard. <clears throat> If you're after something like that, I think I know a place. <laughs> oh, no. Is it a rock concert? Saying <laughs> <laughs> the title mm -hmm. of the stream is not going to save you from the things you will have to do. Oh, no, I didn't even know that uh, the thing stream was called a rock concert, so I mean, I had no oh, idea. Oh, I called that it rock concert. Uh, yeah, that was unintentional, so I'm sorry. <laughs> All right then. At which point she asks you all to board your sound ship. That's rock and roll. Yeah. It's funny you say that as she summons several tiny earth elementals to start getting the uh, the sound ship going, and she takes you to the city <coughs> of Svartalheim. Uh, oh yeah. Well, close by. My apologies. All right. <coughs> obviously. Ship can't go on land. Mm. Yeah, whilst it's but... still the plane of Earth, you, you want to fancy. Mm. But it's, like, it's got legs! I mean, a, a ship. It's a visibly ship, got legs! A ship that's, like, you know, almost fantastically it, impossible. It didn't have legs! Like, it had pontoons! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, an Earth ship. So, if this is an Earth ship. That sails on land, and it's uh, almost made up. Could you call it Atlantisy? I How much I like that. I hate you. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> It's alright, you can love it as much as you want. Oh, yeah, if you, if you... <laughs> but like, yeah, if you, like, all of all of the beams that connect the pontoons to the main ship, if you, like, attach those to a clockwork mechanism, and then, like, you could essentially wa walk the ship on land, right? That could work. Epa's just going off mad engineering. As you're going through mad engineering, she's like, if you've got Hephaestus on call, and he's willing to do so, then you can try. Do you know how I can get his number? Nobody knows where he is. That's not a good thing. And besides, where we're going is much cooler than his clockwork shop. Ah, oh, yeah. Their incest. Just be wary, it could get pretty rowdy. I like the sound of rowdy. 
I don't, I don't know if you've met these guys. Mm. It's far from home. But, but like rock gnomes. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. um, sniff, sniff emblem? Yeah, I can never say the name because my mind just goes... <laughs> it, it, I'm not even sure I'm saying it correctly. No, I, I give up ever saying it, so it's just like rock gnomes. They have no proper name. It's unpronounceable. Um, Anyone who can pronounce it is clearly a rock gnome. Uh, Sferf Neblin. Sferf Neblin. Sferf Neblin. I was going to say Nur is a rock gnome. Everybody sort of forgets. Mm. Oh, yeah. 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 Anyways. Two thingy my thingy heim. Yeah, just two. fuzzle heim. <clears throat> Disgruntleheim. Disgruntleheim. <laughs> that was unintentional, and I'm gonna keep it that way. Yeah, Disgruntleheim. I love it. It was well, too Disgruntleheim. That's what it's called from well, now on. Well, this place is far from Disgruntleheim. Ah. Just need some appropriate music for the stream. Yes. As you guys approach the the outer reaches of Svadalheim. You see small houses and farming fields. Normally, like, you'd see the kind of thing you expect to see weeds and <coughs> corn growing in the fields. What you're, what you're witnessing is them actually growing geodes. So it looks like a stalk of sweet corn, but it's like topaz. And, he's no, and you've noticed a couple of rock gnomes tending to it and uh, making eye contact with you and like darting for other people to be like, there are people, strangers, from the outside. Wow. I knew someone was going to do it. <laughs> if it was going to be someone, it at least going to be Yeah. But uh, yes. as you get further to the city itself, the architecture is a mighty wall of dwarves and that Nordic style of building. Although whilst normally it would be made up of wood and timber, it's all been replaced with rock and stone. And eventually down leads you to a tavern, which is mm. just called the... No, stop it. The Down Under. I think this one is going to have the eyes like that. It's going to be uh, Down Under Rock. Yeah. And inside is the yeah. absolute yeah. definition yeah. of loud, merry, yeah. and drinking. You notice know, there's several rock gnomes, dwarves that have more like elemental features on them, so I like it would be a, a clean beard. It's like and things like that. All heavily drinking, a couple of gems yeah. have been born as well. And Dow just looks at you and goes, well, enjoy your night of amusement. No, buddy. Nope. <laughs> I, I take it as a drinking game. I just <laughs> 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 Yeah, and I got nobody. Ah. <laughs> Just pulling gas away. Uh, uh, yes, you get two cantrips, Foxy. Two cantrips, okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, if you do the. If you look on the wizard's no spell, you get cantrips two, and you get to propel three spells a day. Alright. Um. Dow, before you disappear. Well. I see other kobolds down here. Other kobolds? Got... Well, there's us two. Like, you've got dwarves down here, they live deep underground. You've got gnomes who live deep underground. And you do have gem dragonborn. Do you ever get kobolds down here? Besides us? No. Again, she points out like the rest of the party of the Heragon, uh, the Aquatic Elf, 
and the humans like, yeah, you're all squishy and fleshy. No, I don't like Everybody mm -hmm. else is kind of more well, solid. Right, she, like, it taps her own yeah. chest and like, it's the same yeah, stone. So stone. Yeah. Well, you need to get some rock kobolds. Make those a thing. Mm -hmm. I think you'd have to maybe mate a few times to yeah. get something like that. I can imagine the rock kobolds kind of being like um, das, where they kind of light up. Yeah, just another defect. I say, old chap, like, just fucking, just, I don't know, something similar to Das in a way, and then, like, <laughs> yeah, it's getting better, at least they don't start having meetings where they're the only one talking to themselves, it's kind of weird. See, secretly, there'll be now a small village of these things somewhere out in the sand sea, and they just live like geckos. Yes. Find a hot rock and just stick to it. On, on the concept of, of breeding, I, I really hope that they have a lot of rock polish down here. Yes. That would hurt. <laughs> yes. No, no, not having the rock polish would hurt. No, it it uh, the rock polish hurts. <laughs> Trust me, I'm a bunny. Does <laughs> it rock polish have sand or something in it anyway? Yeah. Yeah, I was just thinking more for the practicalities of like rock on rock action. Well, yeah, well, rock on rock action. <laughs> well, it just kind of caused chafing. Look, when they say I felt a spark, or exfoliating. But saying of, like, I felt a spark between us, Dante, they literally mean it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Flint bouncing off on one oh. another. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why Dow's so grumpy. Uh... No, no one's polished her in a few months. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want to get it. Not <laughs> often <laughs> enough. No. Oh, God, <laughs> Come on, guys. We, <laughs> we love it. It's uh, we know you love it. So hey, no, you set, you set, you set this in motion by mentioning that Dao is half material. Yeah, this is very true. Oh, no, 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 little one. <laughs> Sorry, that. not you, Eppa. <laughs> one of the... No, one of the, uh, one of the, one of the puppies tried to follow me in here. Oh. Oh. They want to get in on the rock farm. We, we, we need more pets playing, you do. Ha, pets <laughs> I mean, what? Yeah, with the, uh, two out of the three puppy, like, one puppy sold on Saturday. Somebody, like, right before we kicked off the stream, people showed up to look at the, to look at the other two, and they're hmm. buying one. They went to the pet store, and they're at the pet store now, and they're going to come back and pick him up. Aww. Aww. So that leaves one little one little nugget left. Yes. So if you so if any so if any if anybody <laughs> wants to buy a puppy, they're uh, purebred purebred Australian shepherds. Seven weeks old. Oh, God damn it. Super well, freaking no, cute no. and adorable. <laughs> no. To, to, to Florida a month early and come and get it. And like, no, you're coming. Yeah. Me. Like, if, yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> if, if, flight, if they're flights, flight legal and you can send one to Chicago, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pick it up in a month. <laughs> Because uh, Australian Shepherds are literally one of my favorite breed of dogs. <laughs> yeah, their uh, their parents. One is a mer uh, merle, and then the other is a tricolor. Yeah. No. So the two mer the two merle puppies have are the ones that um, have sold, and then mm -hmm. the the last puppy is black and white, Aww. straight up black and white. 
Hold on, I'll post a picture in chat. Okay. Right, I want to know okay. why we haven't had many puppy pictures beforehand. Before? <laughs> I've taken a bunch. I just forget to post them. Hang on. Also, All right, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll drop them in group chat in a little bit. Let's. All right. Let's, let's carry on with the Dermsons and the Durgans. Uh, one. Uh... One thing I'm gonna I'm gonna mention though, there is the lovely addition to Dungeons and Dragons, which is called Dungeons and Doggies. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, we actually have the set of figurines. Me and Tom, we have the cats and the dog. Yeah, cat, um, so that's figures, not doggy figurines. style in a sex dungeon. Yeah. No. <laughs> not this time. Well, I mean, there's cats and catacombs, and then there's dungeons and doggies, yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Either way. Um. Yeah. 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 Either way. Either way. So, for all of you guys, you, uh... You find yourselves in a tavern, part with... different gem races parting up, mostly... Gnomes and dwarves. A couple of gem dragonborn are off in the corner discussing something. A couple of the what language are... are they speaking? They are speaking draconic. Ah. Oh. What are they saying? You don't say. If you want to hear the take... conversation. The problem with the yes. taking over half, half the yeah, surface the world, it means everybody can speak their language. No. Mm. Yeah. I know Aelin can speak Draconic, can she? So can Rex. Yeah. Well, again, if you want to hear on their conversation, they're currently discussing about where they're going to start. Oh, not this again. What, what is the... the grand plan... For the expansion of Petra. Do they start back in the old capital or do they go elsewhere? I feel like I've forgotten what the name Petram means. Uh, it's the draconic city down here in the plain of Earth. For a minute, I was thinking Petram Tequila. <laughs> hey, that that is some smooth stuff. That is the only tequila that I've ever that I've ever had that I don't need salt and lime for. Mm -hmm. they, they, they are planning to kill someone. Uh, uh... Sorry, that was I was pushing it with that one. <laughs> I just had to worm it in there. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, few puppies ever seen the group chat. <coughs> oh, are you looking at the puppies? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. Yes. Go ahead and give me a performance check. Certainly, sir. Um. Ah, it's a seven. He's he's just intoxicated. <sighs> it's not the world's <laughs> best. There have been better ones. Um... Aelin will... Pat him on the shoulder. Cast Guidance. And go, try it again, buddy. Uh, another performance check? Or do I just add on to the 7? Uh, just probably a default form add it on to the 7. Okay. Right. A 3! A three. <coughs> That'll be ten in total. You don't cause that much of a stir. A few people tell you to piss off their table. Yeah, it's just tap dancing <laughs> all over the table. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, what, watch what you say. He might actually do that. Um, Aelin will cast press the digitation and make little sparks dance around at his feet. 
<laughs> a few of the patrons go, oh, this walk is certainly nuts. <laughs> but can he do a mosh pit? <gasps> oh, God. Well, there's a mosh pit. Uh, is, what? It, is it like a wet, grassy, but not grassy thing that's in a hole? Oh, that's a moss pit. Yeah. Oh. Or a moss pit. You know, it's a bit of... Moss pit. There's a bit of uh, conflicting on that one. No. Uh, and one of them yells over to the barkeep, wondering if the band's available tonight. And the band does come on, consisting of a human, a dwarf, and a troll. Who call them... Who, don't, who insist they play music with rocks in. <laughs> If anybody gets this reference, you have read some good books. <laughs> and they mm -hmm. proceed to play some music, which sounds a little bit rocky. And I mean the genre, <laughs> not just because it's in the plane of Earth. At which point, Daz, you are subjected to a mosh pit. Yeah! <laughs> Give me a strength or a deck saving throw. I would love to make a deck saving throw, please. That's a dirty 20. Okay. You survived the mosh pit. Yeah! <laughs> you all watch as this mosh pit begins to form and you see Das's tricorn hat <coughs> sort of get launched around from one end to the other. Whee! In a, in a... But it doesn't fall off? No. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but Das also like... He's like crowd surfing in places and they throw him back in. It's... There's like cartwheeling across like yeah. people. It's... It's an impressive thing, but as the music is built, the uh, Gem Dragonborn's conversation has died off for me. Sit there and look over and realise that they can't really hear each other talk at this point in time, so they uh, take their drinks and leave. But is there anything else you guys would like to do for the rest of your evening here? Mosh pit? Bolo dragons, mosh pit. Bolo dragons. <laughs> is, is, is it that meme where like you have two red buttons? One of them says mosh pit, and the other says follow dragons. And then there's just this guy sweating it out like, oh god, what do I do? Party, party fun, <coughs> story hook. Um, roll. I'll roll. I'll roll a d6. Even we stay at the bar and party. Odd, we follow the dragons. Is that okay, guys? Yeah. yeah. Sounds All good. Right. Um, you can follow the party. We follow the dragons. I'm, I'm distracting you from the Okay. This, you're this all... stuck it hurts. As you're going to... Oh, that's good. Oh, could I have a group stealth check? Minus Das, because Das is currently mosh pitting. Um, I'm gonna cast Guidance on myself. I'm <laughs> gonna cast Guidance on myself as well. <laughs> Wait, you. can you cast Guidance on yourself? Yes, yeah. you sure can. Oh, he has the spell. <laughs> yeah, it's oh no, I wasn't party. questioning whether or not Rex had the spell, I was questioning the mechanics of the spell. Yeah. Alright, total of 18. Mm. Mm. Uh, let's see. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> sure. Rex is a ghost. <laughs> there is no Rex. The, gi the giant bunny rabbit is a ghost? <laughs> there literally is no Rex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So think on the two. So that is three failures and only uh, three successes, one failure. Get the... I was going to say, Jesus, what's the DC? Negative. <laughs> <laughs> we need to be close to zero as possible. Wait. Wrong system. <laughs> um. So the, you managed to follow these Dragon Ball without causing too much of an issue. Mhm. Mm and as you follow them around, they go through. Uh, a series of corners until they get to a small out the way 
looking warehouse. One of them knocks on the door. You hear whispered conversation. Just need to check people's passives. I miss having my cheat sheet. I need to read print it. Um. What do you passive need perception yes, is. Perception plus ten. Twenty two. My passive. Nineteen. My passive perception is sixteen. Oh, sorry. Wait. Are you saying passive plus ten or just skill plus skill ten? Skill plus ten is passive. All oh, right. Twelve. Nineteen. So wait a minute. And then Rex is sixteen. And then ah, yeah. Rex is interesting. Rex is actually at twenty-one. Because he gets advantage if it's on hearing and sight. Oh, yeah. Radar is. Oh, right. <laughs> Radar dishes. <laughs> but anyway, you can all just make out the sound, say, of talking back and forth with Draconic Neil. In, in that very hushed whisper, it's. What is the password? For gem and country. And they are the two. Which language? It was Draconic English. still? Yep, all in Draconic. Okay. Um, how far away is this still? I was waitering about 30 feet for you guys. Ooh, in which case, I'd like to just drop Mage Hand in the door so it doesn't close properly. Hmm. This is going to sound weird, but, but but it will make sense. Go ahead and give me a sleight of hand check. Oh no, that's that, that's fair. That's legit. It's like it's just this mystical. Well, I was waiting for it to be like a sleight of hand. Yes, on a mage hand. Get it? Sixteen. Uh, mm -hmm. Sixteen. Okay. You managed to put the the hand. In a spot that no one notices that the door hasn't closed properly, like he's almost like holding it just on the catch. And so you feel fairly confident you guys can sneak on up without too much issue. What if Aelin wild shaped into something small that could fit in the door and that kind of check things out, kind of scout ahead? You can certainly oh. try, yes. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Um, she's gonna wild shape into a mouse. Yeah, and I'll just open the door just wide enough for a mouse. All right, then. Aiden, you sneak into the warehouse. Inside are several boxes and crates of what look like harvested crops in air quotes. Basically, first of all, I heard a cat. Crops. Oh, yeah, they're so think like such a little baby. Things like um, instead of it being corn, they're like topaz. Tomatoes that are made of rubies and all that kind of stuff. Like artwork. Like these gems have been made into works no, of no, art and in vegetables. Like, oh! Physically grown this way. Okay, um, hello. Or that's plain. You, you saw fields and like farmers tending crops, but it was really weird because they were like tending to geodes more than physically crops. It was a weird disconnect. But anyway, um, in this space, you can see they've made they've cleared an area and a couple. Well, there's actually more like ten gem dragonborn now in the space. Marking out an arcane circle on the floor and putting runes into the center of the circle. You can go ahead and give me an arcana check. You read my mind. Funny that. This is certainly a magic circle. Uh, one for teleportation, but for teleportation between the planes. 
Can I figure out which plane they want to teleport to? Of that 22 Arcana check, you know that plane shifting requires something tuned to that plane to act as like a tuning fork. Powerful wizards could buy such an item. And certain items may be sold under an out of view and out of mind for some people that would allow for plane of travel. But it doesn't, I can't tell by any of the runes or any uh, no. items that, okay. You, you can't see any items right now, but they are still in discussion and since you're going to try to collect the all, they're literally sitting there going, are you sure this circle's going to work? Yeah, it's going to work. I didn't spend all past five years studying magic just so this will blow up in our face. So you just draw the circle like this, keep it round. Put these rooms here, this one here. Oh no, no, don't. You, you misspelled that one. Ah. <laughs> and after a good 10 minutes or so, they eventually set up this circle. Uh, over the course of that 10 minutes, what about the rest of you? What do you want to do? Hmm. Moxie, what's your giant ears here? <laughs> well, there is a... Uh, I heard a password, and... Well, they are talking about that there is a... Teleportation uh, circle or something in there? And there is a, type, a typo in one of the circle runes. How damn you got good ears. Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> part, of, part of it was just to see if Rex can get a natural 20 on a perception check. Who would like, be sitting there like... And they're also using the wrong chalk. <laughs> <laughs> Specifically, they're using a red and they should be using a blue. I don't know. Tell the color just by listening. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Would, that would be quite something. Would a 22 Arcana check know or fig be able to figure out that, uh, Maybe they're drawing in fire, or drawing for the fire plane, but need meant to go to water? Something like that? Um, so that's 22 Arcana check, and you're watching them complete the circle. It will work. It will teleport them across the planes. What they are missing is more the physical requirements. So like a tuning fork to the plane. A tuning, okay. Uh, I'm not about to tell him. Let me check on Aelin. She's been um, there for a while. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and make my way back out while they're busy dicking around with that. Alright then. A couple of minutes pass as you guys are having this conversation of like, should we go rescue Aelin or would you you watch a mouse? Emerge from under the warehouse door. Are you sure that's Aileen? Um, the tip of her the, her tail will uh, form into the uh, one fingered salute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's her. laughs> okay, it's Aileen. And she'll go it's ahead and resume small. her normal shape and uh, <laughs> report everything that you saw there. Uh, just this like tiny motion of like Epper looks like he was going to go pick up this mouse and now it's just like looking at like Aelin's shin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna step back. Alright then. 
Well, once you guys disseminate that information amongst yourselves, Captain Das. Oh, hi. Back with you in the tavern. Alright. You have survived the bosh pit and the band with Roxy. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Everybody else has left. You see no equal friends and compatriots are here at the tavern. Yes, Percival, what? Except the poor tabaxi in the room, apparently. Any kind of shame? Oh. In the kind oh. of shame. Oh. Anyways. Oh. One second. I need to go deal with him. Oh, what's yeah, the matter? Anybody I know. Uh, he's meowing for attention. He's like, Dad! I oh. Why would you love me, Dad? Dad. Love me. Ah. Oh, let me into it to see how poorly you are. Yeah. So poorly. So, so poorly. Aww. Yeah, he he looks so sad with that cone of shame. Oh. Yeah, I'm not taking the cone off, buddy. Well, he's not meant mm. to be happy with the cone of shame. He's meant to... that, that's why it's called the cone of shame. It's bad. There is, uh, there is one thing you can actually do to make him a little bit more happy. Mm. You can buy, like, this uh, catnip spray and spray <laughs> it in the, like, uh, in the uh, cone of shame. <laughs> so just get him uh, stoned. <laughs> so he will be happy. Uh, she will be happier. So <laughs> they will be happier, <laughs> at least for a mom uh, moment. You can also get soft cone shames. They're not actually like cone shames. They're more like a the, like a rough. We've got three different ones. So we've got this one, a uh, softer one, and then a uh, donut. Yeah, because hmm. you can get um, fr uh, Tom's sister actually has one which looks like flower petals. Yeah, no, we have one that's like a blue donut. Yeah, so, it's like flower know. petals, and then the dogs in them, and of course what? the dogs like, oh, I have a flower. Yeah, I think he actually wants to go to the literature. Anyway. How is Das going to cause an interplanar incident? Well, that's where we're up to. So, Das. Yes. You survived the band of rocks in? Yes. Everyone's had a, a good time partying with you. Alright. We noticed none of your compatriots are there. What would you like to do? Um, okay, I'm guessing in the plane of Earth there is like footprints. Difficult. Are you saying you'd like to go help them down? Yes, I'd like to help them down. They're part of my crew. Like crew, it, the, like crew means family. Family sticks together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but no, both of the cobalt have attachment issues. Oh, forgotten. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Everyone has attachment issues. <laughs> or abandonment? No, this, sorry, abandonment has issues. <laughs> yes. But anyway, so you go out hunting into the night. Yes, in a drunken stupor, possibly. Oh, I would uh, yes. be a drunken stupor if you so Yeah. Yeah. It takes you some time. Yeah. In fact, you feel like you've already passed them three times, and it turns out to be another random group of dwarves and deep gnomes that just happen to have the same shape as your party. <laughs> You're certain that they, <laughs> they can't be them. So you just carry on going, and eventually you double back and die. Uh... It's like, hey, hey Rex, uh, I see your ears have gotten a lot bigger. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, wait. After a couple of minutes, mm. I'd like you to <sighs> a D100. Oh, okay. A D100, you say? Mm-hmm. All right, then. A D100, I shall roll. There is no possible way this could go badly for anybody. 
Yeah. <laughs> Chaos energy engaged. Engaged. <laughs> okay. You catch up with the party, drinking a bottle of liquor. It's got a bit of a funny aftertaste. You can't taste it. It's it's kind of like drinking really fizzy coke from a glass bottle. Ah uh, yeah. Eventually, you catch up to the others. Yes. The rest of you, you see Das. Okay. But he looks weird. Okay. He's grown a long beard. Hmm. That's Interesting. Made of feathers. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, did he motor try and motorboat some sort of bird creature? <laughs> I have no idea. He motorboats an aracocra, that's what he's done. <laughs> yeah. He motorboated an aracocra. Oh, yeah. okay. Someone who's molting. <laughs> and somehow they got like, tr like the beer and the treacle or something like just got mixed onto his face, it's just stuck on. Yeah. Oh my god, was it um Dom's last character, the Aarakocra? With oh. the No, it was a no, Kenku. It was a Kenku. Kenku, okay. That's right, he had a Kenku, I forgot. Yeah, okay, you know, I need to ask. Yeah, and I had, I had, I had a whole joke. I had a whole joke there. Yeah. I, I need to ask a series of questions mechanically to figure out if my induction is Epper's induction. Um, so I have like a nineteen passive investigation and sixteen passive insight. Can we roll Arcana to confirm that Das is somehow a wild sorcerer? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give me that Arcana check. <laughs> well, actually, <laughs> I want to know this as well, so can I roll an Arcana too? <laughs> sure, can you beat a natural 20 reaching 29? <laughs> I don't think mm. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Ever. Mm. You have seen that. You have interacted with the loom quite a while. Certainly, he ain't a sorcerer, because he's never cast a spell. He <laughs> <laughs> love to cast spells. So, it's baffling that he now has a beard of feathers. Yeah. So, drunkenness might indicate something, but you haven't seen any birds down here. Um, but you are. Uh, yeah. You all do get the strong whiff of something from the bottle he's been drinking from. There you guys are! The, what happened? I mean, um, you, you, you just left the party. You just left the party, and I mean, the moshing was so great. Like, I was cartwheeling everywhere, I flew across the room, and I didn't get a single bruise from it, at least not to my knowledge. But. But, but, yeah, no, it, you know what, you guys should try it sometime, like, what are you guys all doing in this really clearly shady looking place? Yeah. Well, well what we were doing is we were waiting for you. Um, that we were looking for more people to come join the mosh pit. And there's, how many did you say there were, Aiden? How many did I see besides the two that went in? You saw ten in total. Ten in total. There are ten lovely fellows in there that clearly need to learn how to party. Well, fortunately for them, I'm Sorry, just Ash. a guy. I'm just a guy who knows how to P A R T E E E <laughs> E. I e just realised I've never had to spell. <laughs> three, 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 three. E. Yeah. And uh, that's broke. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I. Yeah. I have learned to party, and I'm gonna go through that door. I'm gonna teach these guys how to party. Yeah. It's 
gonna be great! Okay, just to check, the trip back to here counted as a long rest, right? Mm-hmm. Good. <laughs> just quickly yeah. hit that. Yes, yeah, so the trip back here took the best part of two days. Hence why there was like yeah. a few days of downtime. Ah. Uh, Alright. This yeah. is gotcha, gonna be like gotcha. a little side thing I planned to like fill out everything, but it's becoming quite the major story of it. So, uh, <laughs> my ad living's put my foot in it again. Yeah, that's just gonna like t turn his hat at an angle which is just not equal anyway. And he goes, right, watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. Before we get too far, I'll make a conso. Oh, lovely. Like, <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yeah. oh. You don't vomit. Oh. You sneeze. <laughs> oh. 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 Point, this wonderful, long beard of feathers goes everywhere. That. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was vomiting. Okay. <laughs> What's under? What was underneath the feathers? Just that. Uh. <laughs> right. Massive cloud of feathers. Um. Aelin will use prestidigitation again to clean up. Not and feathers, and spittle, and whatever else <laughs> from anybody yeah. that death sprayed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, now that we've got that Aren't out you? of the way, watch and learn, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to have the best night of their life. Um, okay, so is the door, like, slightly ajar because of Epis? The door is currently not shut for long. So you can just kick the door in if you so choose. Alright, in that case then, I'm gonna like, boot the door. I'll and say, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, uh, the rest of us, we're gonna follow behind, right? Just off to the side so Das gets all the attention, right? <laughs> Rather than have to cross the street first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Right. Oh no. So I'm guessing that's <laughs> what you guys are gonna do. So he's just gonna, he's just gonna kick the door go down and goes, What up, people? Captain Dash Big Claw has entered the room. <laughs> At this point, uh, Rex just uh, <laughs> face palms. So uh, let. Yeah. I just so, Dash. Yes. You kick in the door I and declare to the world that Dash is here. Only to find that maybe he's there right now. But you hear the shouts in Draconic, which you understand of, Oh, fuck! Steve, you were meant to close that fucking door! I did close <laughs> the door! <laughs> you know, some idiots just come barging in, drunken bloody dwarves everywhere. Uh, that, that, first of all, that's racist. I'm, I'm a kobold. Oh, which one they come in the corner and go, Oh, fuck. Who the bloody hell are you? Hello. I <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. I I could ju I could just make the big entrance again and like kick down the door and like uh, let, let me try that again. That's no, going to like No, no. Don't <laughs> don't do that again. <clears throat> okay. So I'll I'll just start from after I kick down the door. What up party people? Captain Das Big Claw has entered the building. At which point, they draw weapons and threaten you. Just go, who sent you? Why are you here? Tell us when we will fucking end you. Well, I've been told by a bunch of lovely people at the, the, the party that there, there was, there was like, a, there was a bunch of guys who didn't know how to mosh. And after experiencing the mosh, like, I, I figured I'd spread the word of the mosh and, uh, y you know, educate people in the way of the mosh. At which point they oh. close in a bit tighter around you, you all sit there peeking in, you can see like three gem dragonborn surrounding deaths with blades drawn on them. Yeah, 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 that's okay. it. Like, get a bit closer because, you know, everyone's got like really close together. We, we just need a bit of music. We know where we can get some music. Do you want to come with us to fight him? 
<gasps> Do I ever? I think this <laughs> is the moment. Epic around <laughs> the corner. They, yeah, they I think this. And... <laughs> you know, as 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 they sort of say that that threat, that last threat. That is the moment that Ephra is going to walk around the corner, cast telekinesis, and throw one of them into the ceiling. <laughs> the DM was not prepared for this moment. <laughs> <coughs> trying to mosh. Yeah, trying to mosh. To the back Let's get <laughs> We do this old school, you maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say music? Aelin will stroll around the corner and kick on her blade song. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, and they cast mage armor on herself. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, that's, there's a thought. Does my, my my little litany and your blade song, would it harmonize well? Hmm. Might it be like a mashup? Ha, huh. or mosh up. <laughs> uh, where is the that you're all on? <laughs> Seriously, guys, why am I not playing a bard? Yeah. <laughs> because Das is still alive. Yeah, I mean, I mean you are... I mean, you swash and you buckle magnificently. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. No, that's really appreciated. Right, we, we are doing this ye yeah. old school. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. How old? School? Let's put it this way. You guys are currently down here. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to change my color so we can all see where the pings are. Do, do, do. Do, do. Oh, double blue walls of the warehouse. It's not square. I don't care. Ah, uh, it rhymes. It does. Uh, do I have Dragon Ball tokens sitting in my thing? I should do. <laughs> do we need to roll initiative? I will consider this initiative time, yes. i just looking for... Okay. Do I really... Oh, I'm supposed to go those. No problems on this, though. Ooh. Oh, that's a terrible roll. 22. <laughs> I suppose I can roll initiative. Why not? Let's do that. Yeah. Oh, actually, let me, let me clear the thing first. Yeah, I'm just gonna okay. adjust my um, hit points. Uh, oh, so, uh, I'm gonna have to do this all uh, El Manuel. Oh, oh wow! Nice. <laughs> right, okay, I need to. The DM was not prepared. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is what happens when you have a party full of chaos goblins. Yes. Excuse me, the correct term is kobold. Yeah, yeah, racist. <laughs> racist. At the lot of you. I mean, what? Goblins are merely disorderly, dinky, and loud. If you want proper chaos, you get kobolds. Uh, yeah, it was very really unprepared. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh. Again, my brain was like, this is just going to be a little side thing, a little theatre of the mind. They will not be and express themselves. I'm like, oh, yeah, we'll just go interrupt a gem dragon born revolution. Hmm. Right. Uh, I need to add them to the initial order. I don't have anything for them. So this could be fun. <laughs> uh, can I throw something together really quick? I could. I'm feeling lazy. Give me one second. Uh, that's not going to work for me. So it's not going to be quick enough. Build. Choose race. Come on, D&D Beyond. Work with me here. <laughs> <coughs> That's one I go, right? 
Cool, my Baldur's Gate curse continues. I rolled a natural one. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Oh dear. But I have a thing for these guys, so that's fine. It was more like I needed a breath weapon and like some kind of <laughs> weapon attack. I was gonna say, what type of gem dra dragons are they? What type? Well, probably they're like varying types, so I'm just gonna do them. Oh, that's a lot. Of, that's a lot of horrifying breath weapons. I know. <laughs> it's given me the radiant one on this quick build, so. In any case, though, combat has begun. We begin with Aileen at a whopping 23. Alright, well, she's got the. Does the blade song beforehand count, or you want me to do that as my bonus action now? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh, we'll say now as part of your bonus action on this turn. Okay, so bonus action, blade song. Hello. Action. Is Aelin a good song? Um. She d well, she has a, uh, she's plus six to her performance. Oh, damn. Um. <clears throat> and then, uh, uh, mage armor. And she's gonna come back up to ass. That's it, and that's all she can do. Oh, I see. Oh, so I now have... Um, you have now that with 5 feet? 5 feet? Yeah. Are you going to step into the pantry? Uh, Rex, if he's all good. Yes. Which means that... Hmm. Just a moment, I need to make a measurement. What? <laughs> You're stopping to measure that now? <laughs> hmm. They are marginally okay. more threatening than, like, your bed sheets. Okay. So, um. First of all. Um, Rex is gonna do a thing. He is gonna hit this guy. Oh, that's wrong. We were there. Yes. Although, first, Crimson Right. <laughs> Let's see. Ow! Bit too rough there, buddy. <laughs> Five. But then... Then uh, the attack, attack starts. <laughs> Once... Twenty-five? <laughs> Twenty-five is gonna happen, yeah. <laughs> Thirteen. <laughs> you rush oh. in, you smack this gem dragonborn square in the head with your Omni Violator. The uh, yeah. gemstone structure of their face cracks and shatters as they fall to the ground. Alrighty. Then, uh, uh, because I do have a uh, multi attack. Can I move between attacks? Yes, I will allow it. Okay. Rex is gonna move here and hit this guy. Go for it, make another swing. That's 27. That's a hit. I also forgot I had some of these things. These are amazing. Uh, 12. 12 points of damage. He falls. Plus. Uh. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> so I'm looking at 
looking for the appropriate... So, he falls unconscious? Well, dead, basically. You do enough hit point damage yeah. to kill him. Yeah, well, I'm gonna roll the Crimson Rites anyway to make sure that they are dead. <laughs> That's four extra damage. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Then. Uh. What's um? Uh, this is a uh, interesting question. Uh, Thunder wave emanates from uh, like. Uh, if Rex casts it, it emanates from him. Uh, I believe so. Let me double check the spell. Yeah, range is self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Uh, wait a minute. I need to check. Um. But it is an actual. Pistol. Yes. So yes, it is. Mm, yeah, it is, uh, because I am not, um, I am in not uh, doing it, but, um, I'm actually gonna... <laughs> I'm actually gonna move here. Okay. And that's my turn. And that is previous to Captain Death. Alright. Oh, is this a tango? I feel like this is a tango. Oh, let. I, I feel like this is. Yeah, tango. So that's just gonna do that. And since, like, everyone's drawn their, like, blades and that, I mean, I could do moshing with the blades as well. Aww. Like, da, 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 da. like, it could be glow sticks or something. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so he's gonna draw out his rapier. And because he's flanking with Rex. Um... Now, in my drunken state, would there be, like, disadvantages imposed or something like that? Unless you took the drunken master. <laughs> D6 on your tail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You couldn't have rolled that. I know. I two know. ones, two threes, and two. Mm, I know. The worst one sneak attack ever. But it is enough to kill. Yeah, like. So the two, the blade swings across, and there's nothing, and then the dagger just nips across the neck. And Whilst it doesn't bleed, it's enough of an impact that's like that um, spider web shatter begins to spread out. Yeah, just be like dancing, yeah. Ah, uh, oh. hey, there's more friends over there. Das, yeah. das is going to then run. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna run over there because he's dumb. He'd be a dumb cool. <laughs> and that will be his turn. Okay, <coughs> that brings us to Tinsco. 
Okay, I have no idea what we're doing here. Who um, do you want me to hit? Murdering some Jim Dragon Ball tried to murder this. Okay, that's fair enough. Uh, in a brawl. If I come in, how far does Ray of Sickness go? Sixty feet. Okay. So is that? We'll happily reach them. Yeah. Fourteen. Fourteen sadly misses. Yeah. Thought it would. That's right. Hold out your trident and the right emanates and it smashes against the the robes and the crystal entity of this dragonborn creature and it. Um, does anybody need healing? If I can. Yeah, everyone's at full health right now. Yeah, everyone's good. That's all I can do. All right. In that case, that brings us to Epa. Oh, oh, oh! You've killed them. You've killed those three already. Ah, but at least there's more. Yes. Ten. Five. That should put me. Ah, let me that. How high is the ceiling on this place? Not that high. It's only about a twenty foot ceiling. Fantastic. I'm gonna stick with what I said I was gonna do. That's gonna be telekinesis. Um. So for the next ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I get to be very silly. Um, <laughs> what's the heaviest object in here? You're sillier for longer than ten minutes, my friend. Right now. Pardon? For, for the sake of what's on the map, just the dragon ball for now. Oh, okay, fair enough. What's the middle of the circle doing? The guy in the middle of the circle is currently performing the ritual for planar travel, and you guys coming in is very distracting. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, the one in the middle of the circle is getting thrown into the ceiling. Alright, <laughs> go ahead and give me your spell casting events. Okay, um. Well, actually, what is it? Uh, I don't know. Oh, ah, yeah, so spell cast. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so the modifier is just the plus five. Oh, yeah. that's not oh, a huge roll. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> um, can I use that at 20 to make sure he doesn't die? <laughs> so he sits there, he's like concentrating on the spell and like he's muttering the phrases. And then you just watch his like his feet lift off the ground. He's like, wait, what? No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So you can move him hmm. up to thirty feet in any direction. Yeah, he's gone. Th he's going thirty foot into the ceiling. <laughs> full on Doctor Strange to the roof. <laughs> yeah, like just full on. He's just being slammed into the ceiling. <laughs> yep. We're, we're we're teaching them how to mush. You got to jump to mush. <laughs> Is there? And then, um... and then you crowd surf. Is there uh, like a uh, whole shape of his head uh, in the ceiling now? <laughs> oh no, I'm actually like body flat. <laughs> like, <gonna laughs> kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> um, and yeah, for my bonus action, I'm just gonna um, start. I'm, I'm gonna start singing too. With my little spell gun is Okay. Then. Cool. Me. These two are gonna close in on death. 
that one is going to spend his action to dash to get into Epa. That one's going to dash to get into Foxy. Mm -hmm. And these two are going to spend their turn just moving across the thing. Uh, Alright, Cat and Death. Yeah. Uh, the first attacks we're going to do are the ones against you. They will have advantage because blanking. Yeah. Uh, 15 on the first one. Uh, 17 to hit on the second one. Uh, yeah, I believe um, Das's armor class is 16, so. Okay. Let me do the other one really quick. Dirty 20 on the second one, so that's two hits. Mm -hmm. So you take a staggering 7 plus 8, 15 points of slashing damage. Um, before you get to me, I gotta ask, mm -hmm. uh, can I use uh, resistance cantrip uh, as a reaction? Alright, oh, it's one action, yeah. Yes. Alright, so. Uh, and that is that, I believe, because the other one could to Epper with his turn. Oh, you could, you could spend this whole move. <laughs> so, lastly, once we get a But a 14 to hit. That, that, that will hit. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> Take five points of damage. Um. You said it was 14, yeah? 14 to hit, yes. Yeah, I'm gonna th just throw up shield. <clears throat> Kindly, none of that. Alright then. But do you mind? Really? I'll just see what Dad's put in the last 20 <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> uh, let's see if I don't remove sticks, you know what it is. Alright, that brings us back to the top of the round. She is going to come around. Flank with Rex. Mm -hmm. Bonus action cast Shilele. I'm going to hit him with a shillelagh. You're going to hit him with a shillelagh? Go for it. Oh, Jesus. I don't, I don't... I don't know why it... They have a roll damage. Oh, no, it's... Oh, it's Hold on. No, I don't know why it does that. Um, if it had been if it had been a crit, it would have been twenty nine. Yeah. That's just a. That's fine. I didn't see the part that was like, look, glass up and thought, oh, that's a green twenty five. That's good to her. Go no, it's been doing. A whole. Six points. And then, as her action, she's gonna whap him with her staff again. Go for it. Now that's a natural 20. That's gonna crit. Roll the critical damage. I don't know why the hell it did that. I only rolled. Whatever. Oh well. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I only rolled it twice for the dice. Jesus. That's fine. With that, that is another Dragonborn fell. Four down and uh, uh, two, three, four, five, six to go. Um, 
let's see, she started here, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six. She's going to finish her movement there to a das or Epa, whichever. Yes. Well, Rex is gonna move here. And then, guess what's gonna happen? You gonna cast the spell? Yes. I am gonna <laughs> cast Thunder Wave. DC 14 and 8. Uh, Alright, let's see. Let's see what happens. 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 Uh, those who pass the save, uh, they take half damage, but uh, those who fail take the full damage. Oh, right. You slam your foot down and a wave emanates. And aren't they, hmm? aren't they pushed ten feet away too if they fail? Um, I. Uh, yes. And is pushed 10 feet away from you. But uh, those who success uh, got a success, uh, they, they, stay where they, are. they stay where they are. Only take half the damage. <laughs> and, and then. Because um, this guy here happens to be there. Rec uh, does it take the whole action? Yes, it is a full. It is a your action for that turn to cast the spell. All right. So I think that's uh, Rex done then. Don't you get bonus action disengage? Uh, I'm gonna bonus action disengage. There we go. Action. <laughs> get, get, get out of there. And then I'm going to uh, try and uh, <gasps> swipe at this enemy in front of. Him. And then that's 20. No, 25 to hit. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. I feel better after that. Thanks, Christy. Thanks. You realize you critically hit, so it's double all the dice. Wait, I critically hit? It's doing that green thing again, isn't it? No, no, no. Oh. My brain heard 25, my brain's still like low level barbarian oh. rolling 25s, badly critting. Gotcha. Yeah, so it's, yeah, 25 would be a 15 um, for the rapier. So. Yeah. No uh, yeah, so I want to say... I'm sorry, buddy, man. Uh, well, that, so, one, so, that one falls yeah. before one, your blade. One, two... I love you. Uh, yeah, you're pretty cute. Uh, I'll just uh, have a dance with this one, um, sort of thing. Just, <laughs> just use the rest oh. of my movement to just sort of shimmy, like, um, like, up, like, up, like, ah, like, yeah, up, down, left, right. But, but just return to that position, like, where I stayed. But yeah, it's just no. this movement to be like, for the body. Do, do, yeah. Do, do, do. Hey, hey, let's provide the music. Yeah, <laughs> this is true. Uh, we're now up to Tinksco. 
Uh, currently still three dudes Iron. on the ground. I'm oh, sorry, four dudes on the ground, one of them right next to you. <laughs> four dudes on the ground and one on the ceiling. Well, the ceiling's on. Really concerned right now. <laughs> well, instead of uh, gold on the ceiling by the back, by the back, by the black keys, it's dude on the ceiling. Black keys is a great band. Yeah. Ah, I don't know why I had trouble saying that word. Mm -hmm. I've earwormed. I've earwormed myself, and I'm not mad about it. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, she's it's all good, by the way, Christy. Okay. Uh, let's. Let's see who we've got left to hit. Let's come up a little bit more. Uh, if you move, there is a guy that was right next to you who will get an attack opportunity on you. Uh, where was I here? Yep. All right. Let's just hit him then. Uh, yeah, it won't work. Uh, no, sadly, 14 is a miss. These guys got pretty high armor class. Yep, it miss. Okay. Anybody need healing or? Not yeah, really. Anyway. No? Yeah, I think I'm um, Yeah. Alright then. Brings us to Epos go. Alright. Um, cool. So at the start of my turn, I'm not going to continue to try and hold the guy in the middle of the circle in the air. So he's just gonna fall. Oh god. Cause I have to I have to repeat the challenge every round otherwise. Um What I'm going to do, however, um, mostly because I'm just looking forward to the fact that I could trigger, I think, four attacks of opportunity with the one move. Um, <laughs> I'm going to um, lift this one instead. Oh God. Okay. So they have to be at 22? Yeah, about that. That's, that's not going to be good enough. So you have succeeded. Where's he going? Um, I'm just double checking the ruling, the rules on 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 this because drop it, him on somebody uh, else. <laughs> um, yeah. So they are restrained, and I can move them up to thirty feet. So let's move them five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Yeah, let's let's move them fifteen. And fifteen. Yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna move them first next to Aelin. And then past Das, which I think triggers a tax of opportunity from both Das and Aelin. I believe so, and also from Tink as well. Oh, and from Tink. Yeah, so you get three So Tink And myself? And technically yourself as well. <laughs> I need to I really need to double check with attacks of opportunity. But part of my like <laughs> It doesn't get triggered when you're forced mood, but part of me's like, I'm pretty sure um, it has done in the past. Um, I'm just checking. Uh, 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 uh Oh, it doesn't, apparently. Damn. Well, never mind. Um, instead, that guy is also going into the roof and... Well, do if it's not going to trigger attacks on opportunities... Call DM, and we're having quite a bit of fun in this fight. I will allow it this one time. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Yeah. I will do. So... I'm, I'm good. Oh, we can... We can take wax at him? 
Yes, but we'll do it in order. So Tink, then Eppa, then Aelin, then Das. So Tink, if you'd like to make an opportunity attack with your spear, please, as you watch this gem dragonborn get launched across the room. He is also restrained. There we go. Ooh, so does that mean? So go ahead and roll. Oh, shit. Roll for advantage. This could get ugly fast. <laughs> I'm going to love this spell. I'm just going to be sitting here setting up fights and just be like, hang on, hold still. <laughs> uh, sadly, Tink misses. She's not rolling well tonight. She's not cool. Good. So, um... this game, Tink's Spear of Influence goes through oh. to Eppers. Eppers gets an attack opportunity. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit it with my sword, um, which I don't have proficiency in. So I think that's just a plus. Uh, what kind of sword? Sword. The it's a amethyst one you gave me. Oh, that thing. Uh, it would be dex based. Ah, sweet. So I'll just roll my um my dex. So that's a plus one to hit. Um, but with advantage because he's restrained. Oof! That was a three and a five on the dice. That's a oh, miss God. both times. <laughs> Swing and a miss. Aelin, oh. you get an attack of opportunity. Alright. Thinking about it, Eppa, have you got Warcaster? I do. You could have used the spell. I, I, I could have, but I, 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 I wanted to hit it with a sword. <laughs> well, then 18 hits. 18 Ooh. hits. Go ahead and roll damage. I love the fact that, like, you guys is. Epis want to launch him. Two people miss, and now gets to Alien, who's like mid fight. What the f? Yeah. What the fuck? Why? I don't know why either. I. <sighs> Damn you, beyond 20. It, well, I mean, it's going with settings. That's so many uh, numbers. Which ones are the ones that are relevant? I know. Um, it, she rolled a 1, so it'd be 1d6 plus 1. Two points of damage. That's all she did was two points of damage. Alright then. It's still not dead. Yes. Okay. You get an attack of opportunity as he flies fast. Beautiful. Okay. With advantage because he is restrained. Alright then, let's do this. So that's uh, 21. And that's <laughs> think... 17. I'll say, 21 that hit. 21 was a nat 20, wasn't it? No. No. No, it's a uh -huh. nat 20. No, uh, nat 20 for a rapier would be 30. Sorry, Tess, go ahead and go roll damage. Oh, yeah, oh. shit. Sorry. Um, right. I don't think it, the, uh, the sneak attack would have worked. No, there was no yeah. sneak attack. That's uh, eight points. Oh. As this poor soul is launched across the room, Whee! and several of you land blows with your attacks of opportunity, he falls into a heap on the floor. And it's there, go, at which point they are all going to start panicking. And run into their friends. So Rex. I was gonna say, wait, 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 wait! I still have a movement and bonus action. Oh, see, so yeah. yeah, <laughs> um, come back, come back. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I got, I got. Uh, I'm gonna just shuffle past people to get here. Just do, 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 do. Right, 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 coming through. Oh, thank you. I hope you don't mind. Um. Now, um. Dast, you did a lot. There were lots of screaming with the doors, right? That, that that's how mushing works. You scream oh, and jump. Dude, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there was a lot of screaming or pure euphoria. There was just like a horrifying, like lizardly undulation from my throat. So it's like they go to the roll, but really tiny. I can't even cut out. <laughs> 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 right, it's only good for my dignity. <laughs> You're going through puberty, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, 
All right then. <coughs> well, for the sake of expediency, because we are coming up to the end of the night. Mm -hmm. The three that are affected by Draconic Kura, I do try to run away. I suspect you guys will happily cut them down. Yes. Yeah. Save one for questioning. Well, there's oh yeah, one no, the one that... ...in the middle of the circle who fail, who cannot concentrate on the spell after just slapping and slamming into the ground. Yeah, I wanted him for questioning. Yeah. But that is what we're going to pick up next week. Alrighty. With you guys having now captured a gem and dragonborn, Did -did -did. ready for questioning over this Thaner circle. Yes. Woo! Your adventures on the plane of Earth are not done yet. So with that said, everybody, oh. thank you all for watching. I will see you yeah. for some more D&D. Good night, everybody. Yeah, see you next week. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.